Hi again. You know, there's something interesting about options. If the underlying security moves about 3% in your favor, it's usually a big move on the options contract and makes us make a decent profit. So say you bought Reliance call options and Reliance stock, which is the underlying, moved up 3%. You would clean a pretty good profit. Not only that, you also need this 3% move to happen within 3 or 4 days of your trade. The faster a move happens, the better for options. If we can find a method which is simple enough to follow and can get us a 1 to 3% move in a few days, then we're on to something. Interestingly, as you soon notice, the method you learned in introduction to stocks of buying swing highs and selling swing lows does give a 1 to 3% move minimum on most of your trades. So in this lesson, I'm going to verify with you, we both need to work on this and make sure that the intro to technical analysis method can give us a 1 to 3% move in our favor within a few days. To test this, let's look at Nifty and Reliance both for about 5 months. We'll talk about the details of profit taking and stop loss and all those things in the upcoming lesson. For this lesson, just concentrate on entry signals. All right, so this is Nifty. Make sure you are looking at the spot charts. We are not looking at futures. This is NSE Nifty and it's obviously the daily chart. Now let's start with December. I think the biggest thing you'll notice here is that we have had a huge fall. Now what we're supposed to look at is swing highs and swing lows breaks. We have a swing low here as you can see and this date is 2nd of December and the low is 8504.6. So as soon as that breaks, we know that we have to sell and that's what happened on this day. That's 8th of December and the market continued to fall right there. Okay. So first observation, the swing low broke and we got a big move down. The put options probably did extremely well. The next swing low we have is here which is the 17th of December. Again, it did not break, so let's move forward. Then we have a curious swing high right in the middle of this down move which happened right at the end of december around 23rd of december 2014 after that we have another swing low so far none of the swing highs or swing lows have broken so no trades then the market continued to rally and this rally especially on this day which is 2nd of january so the next month we broke the swing high great that's our signal after that move the market did move up briefly the next day but then immediately turned down now what i want you to notice is that despite the market turning down we still moved a little bit so there will be some positive move in the option contract but let's not look at that all i want you to notice is that when a swing high breaks there is momentum which pushes the prices forward at least for some time then we have a big move down now you do not have to look at moves in general what you have to concentrate on is this move breaking a swing high or swing low that's how you have to think so when this move happens you have to say okay has a swing low broken and it has on this day which is the 26th of december made and that was broken the low was 8147.95 and that broke clearly after that break the market continued to fall the next day and we had a recovery so good so far so good after that we have a swing high um again it's 8356 and it broke this time it was a gap up now any break basically means if we move above the swing high so this counts as well and this break actually blew it and it went all the way to 9000 all right so now that you've got the hang of this i'm going to move a little faster we have a swing high here didn't break market's continued to move down no swing high swing low break nothing to add market's move up and we have a swing high nothing happened so far here Here is where we have a swing low. I'll just mark it with a line. And yes, we broke it on this day, but immediately the next day the market's reversed. So this is likely a loss trade. Now just for your reference, whatever we've looked so far, I'm going to mark with these lines so you remember the trades and you can probably note them down. So far, we haven't had a lot of trades. It's just a few of them, and most of them have actually moved in our favor, even if it was for one or two days. And finally we have one last long trade over here. All right. 
Entry is probably here because it was a gap up, but I'll just mark the swing high. All right, so so far we have one, two, three, four. We're on the fifth trade. The fifth trade is most likely a loss. Now, when this move happens, all you have to look at is that it has broken the previous swing high. That's all you have to see. And that is your buy entry signal. Again, we have this huge gap up, which has broken this swing high, which happened a long time back. But since we're already in this trade, don't mark two swing highs consecutively, right? You mark a swing high only once. After this, we have this swing low broken here. As you can see, it is a very repetitive job. You keep recording your swing highs and lows and you keep marking them. Let's keep going forward. We have another swing low break here. We have another swing low break very far, which is over here. All right, so now we have nine trades. Let's keep going. As I've said, you don't mark two swing lows consecutively. You have another swing low here. Don't mark it because it's consecutive and you're already in a short trade. So don't take that trade. Look for only a long. We have a swing high, doesn't break. We have another swing high and we can mark it right here. So this is your entry point. Now look at the number of trades we've got since December to May. Barely any. But one thing you must notice, every time we got a trade, we got a decent amount of moves in our favor. And as you know, 1-3% to moves on an option contract is fairly decent. So that is what Nifty looks like. Let's see what Reliance is. Alright, for now Reliance, I'm going to do this slightly faster because I'm guessing you already understand this. Let's begin with December. We have a swing low break and the market collapses. Great, great move in our favor. Then we have another triangle pattern and a swing low break. You just have to look at swing highs and swing low breaks, remember? And again, a good move in our favor. We have another swing low break, which happens right here. But this is most likely a loss. So let's stay away from this one. This one was one of the lost trades we got in Reliance. After that, we have a swing high break. And this one is obviously, as you can see, a huge profit. We went from here all the way up. Let's keep going. After that, we have a interesting swing high break here, which is again profitable. And lastly, another swing high break, which is again a loss because we moved straight down after that swing high break. Here we have another trade. This is a short trade because a swing low is broken. And the markets went up and down, but we don't get any major swing lows or swing highs break after this, so we have no trade. All we can see is that we have this big spike. Now you see, why I mean not look at swing, swing lows again and again is after you've got this swing low and you've made a profit, you can't sell again because another swing low is broken. You need some up move at least, you know? Like over here, we had a swing low break and then the markets went down, went up a bit. Fine, you can short again. We, we, we don't want to short the same move again and again. We need different movements, right? This will come with a little bit of practice. It's not complicated at all. So let's move forward in February. We already have two trades. And after that short trade, we have a nice swing low break over here, which again was pretty profitable. Let's keep going. We make another swing high, no move, make a swing low and I'll mark it here. And this is sort of a small move in our favor, but not a very big move. Let's keep going. We have another swing high. This is not very profitable. And then a swing low. Again, a huge move down follows. And then a swing high break. Huge move up follows. So Reliance has been doing fairly well. We get a many more trades than Nifty because Reliance has not been trending very well. It's, it, it's sort of in an iffy zone. Uh, but that's fine. And we get a swing low break here. One more swing high break here. Okay, now here's where a little bit of common sense comes. Why do you think are we looking at a swing high break? Because there is momentum. When we close above a swing high, we know that something important has happened. And we buy the calls or we buy the stock because we think the move will continue. Look at this bar here. This is a swing low, right? That's a swing low right here. Market moves up and we have this bar which breaks the swing low but then goes right back up. 
when something like this happens, I'm sure that doesn't inspire confidence that this market's going to fall. It's common sense that there was a lot of buying happen. So just don't sell something. And if you did sell it, then exit at the end of the day. Clearly, it's not bearish. And the last trade of May is a buying entry over here. And we're done. That's exactly what our method does. Buy the swing high, sell the swing low. We just need a 1% to 3% move in our favor in most cases which we got it. Now these results were quite satisfactory. Every time we got a trade, we got at least a 2 to 4% move in our favor. You will also notice that a move usually arrives within the next four days. Sometimes we saw a good move happening within one or two days, which is good. Now this is advantages for us, especially when we're trading options. Options sort of work well when a sudden move happens and prices move swiftly. It also helps us to get quicker before the time decay actually sets in. All right, so I hope that was clear. That's all we have for this lesson. In the next lesson, we'll be looking at things a little more closely.